Okay guys, we're going to use three, Fusion 360 to draw our carry tray. So uh, you'll have these dimensions of the carry tray in your portfolio. Here's a copy of it. I'll refer back to this from time to time. We're going to start off by drawing the base, which is the red part here. If we use our folios, we can see it's got a thickness of 4 millimeters, a length of 250, and a width of 160. So we're going to remember those three sizes. Let's flip back to Fusion and draw this. Now, it might, it'll give you more room on the screen if you close the data panel, which is over here. These nine dots here will close the data panel. Click it again to open it. So anytime we need that out of the way there. I'm going to create a sketch. So we click the Create Sketch button. We need to choose a plane to sketch on. So one of these three planes, we're going to choose the base plane. Not the side planes yet. We'll just simply choose the base plane. Click once. And then we're going to choose the Rectangle Tool. The Rectangle Tool is up here. It should be on the toolbar. If it's not, click the down arrow under Sketch and you'll see it there. It's a two-point rectangle. Now we're going to click that one and click once to start the rectangle and we'll drag it out. Now notice we've got those highlighted sizes there so we can uh, we can switch between those by clicking the tab button. So we first of all need 250 long so we simply type 250. I'm going to press tab it'll switch to the next dimension this one should be 160 It'll adjust on the fly as you go, and I can press enter. Enter again, enter locks those sizes, enter again will finish that rectangle. So I can zoom as I need to, to make it fit. Once we're done, once the sizes are correct, we click stop sketch. If you made a mistake, you can simply double click the size and retype the new size and press enter. You can do that on both of those. Let's for now click Stop Sketch and we're going to extrude. The extrude button is here, should be on the toolbar. Again, if it's not, it'll be down in the menu. Notice some of these menu items have letters next to them. So that means I could use the letter E on the keyboard, save me going through the menus to look for it. As you get more familiar with the program, that'll become a quick way of choosing the command. For now, let's extrude. So it's asking us, which profile do you want to extrude? So we are going to, we want to choose the profile, that sketch that we just drew. Click. That's selected that. You can see that here, one selected. If we selected the wrong thing, we can cancel it with the X. But that's the one we want. And we can adjust this up or down as we need to. And we type in our size or we could type in our size with the highlighted there. So we could either press enter now or press the OK here. So I'll click OK and there's our base. Actually I think I've made a mistake. That's too big. If you make a mistake it's very easy to edit. We've got a timeline down here down the bottom corner and uh, I can simply double click one of these items to edit whatever's on the timeline. So that was our sketch, that was the first thing we did. If I needed to edit the sketch I would double click. We need to edit this extrusion so I'll double click. Ah yeah, that should have been 4 not 12. So I'll simply type 4. It adjusts. I can press enter or hit OK. And there's our base. 